Hello everyone, I just finished reading this book, The Art of Statistics, Learning from Data by David Spiegelhalter. I don't know if I'm saying that right, I hope I am, apologies if I'm not. It's a book I saw months ago in hardback and wanted to read, but I didn't buy it at the time because I had a lot of other books on the go. It's now available in paperback for only nine ninety nine. You may be wondering why the hell would somebody want to read a book about statistics? Well, statistics admittedly is not the most exciting or the simplest thing on the planet, um, but I think it can be absolutely fascinating because of what it can do. It can get to the bottom of things, it can make predictions, it can help you understand the world, it can make you a better decision maker. Um, if you understand probabilities, for example, let, let's say if you're a gambler, you need to understand probabilities. If you like taking risks, you like to, you'll do better if you understand probabilities. But like I said, it's not the most exciting thing in the world. And admittedly, I fell asleep a few times whilst reading it, which comes to the point of, I, I don't just read for pleasure. I think one of the things I really enjoy is learning. I read to learn. Um, you know, I was having a conversation with a friend of mine years ago, and one of us came up the sort of tongue-in-cheek quote, learning is the greatest adventure, but but I think there's a lot of truth in that. Now, this guy is brilliant. He illustrates statistical principles in a very engaging, a very um, intriguing way, which is difficult to do, I'm sure, I'm sure. <laughs> um, he, he starts with a quote, the, number, the numbers have no way of speaking for themselves, we speak for them, we imbue them with meaning, so I think what that means to me is numbers don't lie, but we can make them lie. We imbue them with meaning. And an example he gives of that is positive or negative framing can make the same statistical results seem very, very different. And so obviously politicians, um, newspaper articles, they're good at they're good at manipulating us through the language they use when in fact what they say means exactly the same thing but it impacts our psychology differently. So for example you might say only one percent of violent offenders will attack somebody this week and you think oh that's good um you know so if there are 100 violent offenders on the street only one of them is going to do something bad but if on the other side if the statistic were to tell you there are 100 violent offenders currently on the street that could attack someone you think oh my god but it's the same numbers it's the same numbers now this guy gives a very good um definition of how to use statistics is something he calls PBDAC, Puppet Deck, uh, which is you start with a problem, um, you come up with a plan of what you're going to measure, what you're going to uh, study, how you're going to study it, you get the data, you do the analysis, then you come to a conclusion. Part of the conclusion is communicating that um, data that you found. I thought this book was great, despite falling asleep a couple of times whilst reading it. And one of the questions he asked is, could statistics have caught David Shipman? Um, the most prolific serial killer uh, the UK has ever known. He was a doctor who basically used to kill his patients by giving them injections during home visits generally, uh, which peaked in the afternoons. So there's lots of interesting information in there. Yes, certainly, if there had been a statistical analysis of his performance, then he would have been caught earlier because it would have thrown up some really strange irregularities. Um, more fascinating then that, I think, is how statistics can very, 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 very accurately predict the future, as they did with the election results in 2008. Um, and, and that was using something called uh, regression, something regression models, or Bayesian. Um, Bayesian, I'm probably saying that wrong as well. B-A-Y-E-S was the guy it's named after. He style of statistics. He talks about in here that just because something is numbers, something is statistics, you've got to ask who did the study, uh, would the person doing the study have had um, vested interest in getting a certain type of result, can you trust them, uh, what methods did they use, why we shouldn't just be fooled by, you know, averages, because things like the mean average, if you don't know what the mean average is, that's when you put all the values and you take the sum of them and then you divide by the number of values, and that gives you apparently uh, the average, but then the other average is the mode, uh, which is the one in the middle, or the median. I may be getting this muddled up. <laughs> Shows how much I need to brush up on this. The median is the most commonly occurring. So depending on what you're actually measuring, a different type of average could be a hell of a lot more accurate and a lot more useful. So just on a basic level, that's something you should be aware of. But <laughs> I could talk about this for a long, long time. I think it's worth reading. 
it's not the most enjoyable book in the world. You know, maybe I'm better at reading things I don't enjoy than others because I see reading as a valuable activity. But I would certainly recommend it. Give it a go. You might not enjoy it. You might not even finish it. Um, but I, I'd still give it a good... I'd like to give it an 8 out of 10. But I think to actually get that much value out of it, I have to read it a few more times and understand it better. I'll certainly give it a 6 out of 10. If I hadn't fallen asleep whilst reading it, I'd give it a 7 out of 10. But very good book. You know, statistics is something that's, I think, necessary to everybody. To, to, to knowing things, to learning things, to not being fooled, to not being taken in by all the bullshit. Um, great book. That's, I'll shut up now. That's my summary. Great book. David Spogerhalter, The Art of Statistics by Pelican Books, um, available for 9 dollars well worth a read.